Paparazzi bulbs are flashing tonight on another star-studded red carpet. My name is Elizabeth Alfano, host of the Celebrity Dinner Party. Academy Award winners Helen Mirren and her husband and director, Taylor Hackford, grace the red carpet tonight before they receive the Gold Hugo Award from Cinema Chicago, the presenting organization of the Chicago International Film Festival. But before they receive their statuettes, they stop to chat. Nice to meet you. Congratulations on your award. Thank you very much. Lovely that you're walking the red carpet together. Helen, you have had so many roles from assassin to French chef to queen. What, is, what role would you still like to play and how do you decide on what roles you'll accept? Um, it's always a, deciding which role to accept is, you know, it's a bit of a sort of a fish in the, you know, fishing in the, uh, in the bucket, whatever the word is, but because all kinds of reasons, you know, where is it being shot, how long will it take it away, me away from Taylor, um, who's the director, is it a good enough role, you know, there's just so many elements that come into play and, and sometimes it's just instinctive, I just think, oh, I, I think I want to do this one. Some I really, really want to do, um, Eye in the Sky, for example, was a role I really wanted to do, I wanted to be in that movie. So it changes, honestly, from film to film. I've understood that directing is part best friend and part bastard. Is this true? And what was it like to direct your wife? Well, uh, we met on a film, uh, White Nights, which was a dance film with Mikhail Grishkov and Gregory Hines, and Helen was playing a ballerina. Um, you know, when, you, when you're a director, it's a very difficult, you know, uh, many people that work on a film are process oriented. They're trying to get the right uh, mood and the spirit. And, and, a, and a director, of course, is trying to get performances, but you're also trying to finish the film on time and on budget and on schedule. And uh, sometimes you have to push, and, uh, and uh, you cannot be the most popular person on the set. You also still have to get performances, so you can't alienate people. It's, it's, I'm not. I'm not saying it's an impossible job. It isn't. It's part of what being a director is. But, uh, you know, you either love the process, and I do, or you don't. And, and working together, um, you know, you have to ask her. It, it can be easy or not, uh, depending on the day. Well, I think when you were young, Helen, you said that you were never going to get married. What changed for you? Um, I you know, Taylor and I lived together for a very long time before we got married. About 14 years before 14 we got years, married. Something like that, yeah. Uh, really what changed was our extended family, the family around us, Taylor's sons, my sister, my nephews. We were, we were becoming this centerpiece of an extended family and I kind of began to understand that for the extended family it would be good, nice for them if we were married. It would give our, our big family, a kind of solidity and a, and a, um, and a reason for being. So I, I think it was that reason, honestly, most of all. Well, thank you for speaking with me. You are a woman who is a mentor for so many, so thank you for being here. Thank you very much.